Well, hello, North Haven Voices, North Haven family, and welcome to North Haven Voices. And this is, uh, uh, I have the opportunity again to, to interview a new member. Her name is Teresa Scott, um, and who joined with her daughter in back in July. We, and we're going to hear uh, Jennifer uh, share her story as well. Um, but welcome, uh, Teresa, and thank you for taking the time to visit with us. So uh, it's been a, it is a pleasure. I always enjoy greeting you on Sunday mornings, you and, and Jennifer. So it's so it's a, it's just a great to have you part of our family. So thank you. Thank you, Don. So tell us about Teresa. You know your background. What do you do? What are your passions? Well, I have been married for 36 years, and I have three daughters, oh. uh, three grandsons, and a granddaughter. Oh, and see. love my family. Um, very family oriented. I am a computer operator for Anthem Insurance. Oh. And I work on a government contract for the military in the huh. mental health division. So I'm not directly involved in the help that the military, the veterans receive, but I do support that contract. And um, I'm very happy with that. Oh, that's wonderful. Wonderful. You know, I'm a licensed professional counselor and I worked with I worked with the military for when both wars, Afghan, the both wars were going on. I was working with the military families, you know, so uh, so it is it is uh, a grateful. I feel honored to have that opportunity to work with them. Yeah. So, and I can tell you have the same feeling. Yeah, so. yeah. So you uh, were raised in Dallas? And... Um, actually, I was born in Wichita, Kansas. Okay. And moved to Irving, Texas as a teenager mm -hmm. and went to high school there. And then um, shortly after, well, about four years after graduation, I met my husband. Uh, and he had, ha well, has two daughters. So uh, we married, which... We married in the church. Um, I always love that because you know you're you're making a lifetime commitment in front of family, friends, and God. Mm -hmm. um, that allowed me to become the mother to his two daughters. Oh, yeah. And then we had uh, Jennifer two years later. Oh. Um, currently live in Farmers Branch. Um, we've been here for several years. Mm -hmm. My husband's retired, and as I mentioned, I'm still working. Oh, sweet. Yeah. So what brought you to North Haven? Uh, well, my nephew, uh, Kevin Hardis, invited yes. Jennifer and I one day, and I had been looking for a church. I was attending a church in Farmer's Branch, and it just wasn't quite what I was looking for. Okay. Uh, it was nice, but I just didn't feel the fellowship was... Mm all that outgoing or or I don't want to say giving but yes giving so when Kevin invited us uh we attended and I immediately fell in love with North Haven oh good. yeah I just uh Reverend Ann is wonderful mm -hmm. I love the sermons mm -hmm. and the people are so very nice mm -hmm. and supportive and decided to become members after a few weeks of visiting yeah, well, we we're so happy, <laughs> you know. It, it was a big, exciting day. When I know we had a couple of people uh, uh, join the same day y'all did, so that was just wonderful. Especially with the COVID, it's just great to have new members, you know. So, yes. So thank you. Yes, and I think we had a baptism that day, which was wonderful as well. That's right. That's right. So, um, what? Uh, tell me about. Tell us about your spiritual journey as you. Well, um, I was raised Roman Catholic, okay. uh, very strict, very ritual religion, mm -hmm. and um, it, it gave me a lot of structure in my life. Mm -hmm. um, as I got older into my 40s, I just felt like I didn't agree with a lot of the um, Belief, not beliefs, but I'm, I'm searching for the word. Um, well, I'll just say beliefs of the yeah. church. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And so I started to venture out 
spiritually and ended up at, at a Methodist church uh, mm -hmm. in Carrollton. Okay. Uh, I did not join at that time. We did mm -hmm. move to Tyler, Texas, mm -hmm. and I joined a church there in Tyler, a Methodist church, mm -hmm. and have been comfortable within the Methodist religion. Oh, great. Right. Yes. Good for you. Good for you. So do you have a spirit, a, a special uh, spiritual story or a or, or verse that you maybe live by or that, uh, that has love, inspired you? Yes, I like Ecclesiastics verse three. I think mm -hmm. it's so well-rounded in the way that life is. I've mm -hmm. had a lot of joy in my life. I've had some sorrow and mm -hmm. I really, it speaks to me um, just the the good and the and the way we have to change with the time, with the mm -hmm. seasons in our lives. Mm -hmm. Oh, sweet. Just to kind of learn how to adapt, you know, yes. Yes. especially yes. after what we've done in the last couple of years, you know, yes. so who had exp expected all of this, right? So, yeah. Well, um, tell us what brings you joy. I know you said your family does. Anything other hobbies or what brings you joy? Well, uh, primarily my family, mm -hmm. um, again, that's one of the commitments my husband and I, uh, which drew us together. We knew we wanted a family together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but I do like to do needlework. It's oh, okay. very relaxing for me. So I do needlepoint and embroidery. Um, I like to read as well, but needlepoint usually wins out <laughs> on my time. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, when you make needlepoint, are you making like uh, stuff for the family or? Well, you know, or, I, I make it, but I usually end up giving it to family. Yes. No. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, you know, we have the creatives group that I don't know if you heard about that group. So yeah. I don't know if you might be interested in because you you have a work schedule. So it may be difficult for you. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, I'll definitely check into it. Yeah, well, yeah, there's it's called it meets on Thursday morning ver on Zoom, so um, you, you might enjoy that. We'd look, you know, I will send you information about that, I'll email it to you. Okay, okay. great, thank you. Yeah, um, how has your life been different than what you imagined, Teresa? So. Well, um, as a youth, I had some very close friends, um, and carried on into my high school years. And we were kind of a family, uh, even though we weren't biologically related in any way. Mm -hmm. um, I lost three of those friends in the 90s from AIDS. Oh. Um, that was kind of a, a young time to, to lose people. And they too were very young. We were just starting our 30s. Yeah. Um, and I had a, a friend of 34 years that I lost two years ago. So I didn't expect that level of sorrow in my life. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I never expected the level of joy that mm -hmm. I had with that family of my mm -hmm. choosing. Mm -hmm. Oh, that just touches me. Yeah, yeah it you. does. And, it's, it, it, and that's the things, that's what the part of grief that, that we have, we can get through the cycle of grief is that we can hold on to those memories and that they live, they live in our hearts, especially. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Still. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry for those losses, especially during the nineties. I know that was a terrible time with yeah. the epidemic and, and there were so many losses. So I know it was difficult. So, because it was so, everybody felt so helpless, you know? Yeah. So Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it was, and we just couldn't get people to hear us. There's a problem. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> we yeah. got to do something. Yeah. So but, much too long. Yeah. But thank you for sharing how that we, we get joy. And of course that we have the loss of, yeah. the, of not having them with us any longer. So, but anyway. What are uh, some of the important lessons you've learned in life? I don't well, um, I do live by the motto of be kind, mm -hmm. you know, do unto your brother as you would do, mm -hmm. have them do unto you. Mm -hmm. um, I am a caring and giving person. Mm -hmm. and I do like to help um, mm -hmm. the best that I can. Um, sometimes with just the, the knowledge that I have of 
mental health mm -hmm. and some of the struggles that go along with that. Mm -hmm. um, and um, that's, that's primarily it. Yeah. 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 Well, thank you. Yeah. It is important to, you know, that was my mother's favorite thing is to be kind, show a little kindness, you know? So it's always good to hear that though, and be reminded to do that because some things can be pretty challenging to be kind. <laughs> Yeah. Say that again. It was challenges. Yeah, yeah, it is. So, uh, it is. Um, let's see. What do you feel like you're most proud of, Teresa? Well, again, that's going to go back to my family. Mm -hmm. um, my three daughters are very successful. The two older uh, have their families. Mm -hmm. And um, my oldest daughter has been married for 24 years now. Wow. So she too is very committed to her family. And I, I, of course, love the grandchildren. Now, are they local then? Are they everybody local? I have a granddaughter and a grandson that live in Fort Worth. Oh, good. That's where my daughter lives as well. My other two grandsons that are nine and 10 live in New Hampshire. Oh. oh. was in the Navy and he got um, stationed up there. Yeah. And um, I, they, they were born here and I think they moved around five and six. Uh -huh. So I did get to build a relationship with them and I, I miss them dearly. I know you do. I know you do. And my grandsons live in Baton Rouge and they're not that far, but, it, you know, but still I'd miss, I want to go, I, don't, I want to see them every day. You know? exactly. exactly. Yeah, that's great. Fort Worth is a great community. I love Fort Worth. I graduated high school in Fort Worth and that's a great community over there. So, yeah. yeah. And they're close, so you can see them easily. Yes, yeah. They, now how old are those grandchildren? They're adults. They're 21 and 22. Oh, okay. but I did get to you know see them at, in their younger years and growing up. So okay, okay. Just fortunate in that way. Okay. Now your daughter loves nature and does planting and plants and everything. Do you have that same passion or? I do not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would love to have that passion, but anything I touch uh, turns brown. Oh. Um, I am. I love the outdoors, um, but at the same time, I'm allergic to trees. Mm -hmm. Oh, goodness. I have to limit my exposure outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you and I, you and I are uh, connected then because I don't, everything turns brown to it for yes. me. Too. Yes. I always have this desire. I'm going to do something. I'm going to plan something. It's going to be this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to work. So I have to accept that. That's just not in my, in me. Yeah, I'm so. an of her and her ability to. Yeah. Yeah. So Teresa, uh, in closing, how would you like to be remembered? Um, I would like to be remembered as with my kindness okay. and my being spirit. Um, as I mentioned, uh, you know, I helped some of my friends through some very hard times. Mm -hmm. And that was a very spiritual and growing experience for me. Mm -hmm. And um, I just c continue with that kindness and that giving. Mm -hmm. Well, I could, I can tell by when you talked about the, the, the 90s and yeah. you being present with that family, that family of yours yeah. and, and being present with them um, as they transitioned you know, so, and, and, and now you bring that gift to others, you know, so thank you for that. So um, thank you for choosing North Haven and thank you for your uh, beautiful words about the love you experienced there. And oh, uh, we are so glad to have you. And, and it's such a pleasure for me to be able to sit here and get to know you better. And I know everyone that's going to listen to this will, will, have, will love getting to know you and uh, Jennifer as well. So thank you for taking the time and uh, have a wonderful evening. And we'll see you Sunday. Um, yeah, well, my mother's turning 90 this uh, Sunday. So I'm going to San Antonio. Oh, You're, you, the sound went off. The sound went off.
Oh, there you go. Now, say, can you? You said your mother's turning ninety, so you're going to you're going to San Antonio to celebrate her ninetieth. Yes. Oh, sweet. No <laughs> worries. Yes. We're going to celebrate her ninetieth birthday, my sister and I. Oh. And really looking forward to that. Good. I know that's what a big. Big celebration that's going to be. Awesome. Yes, definitely. Well, be safe traveling and have a wonderful time with your mother. I know it'll be a very special time. So okay. you take good care. Thank, Thank you, Bob. You All as right. well.